good day and welcome to today's construction class. My name is Oluwa Tumbi Blessing or La Leko, the founder of Michael Tech. So today we'll be considering the problem as displayed on the screen, uh, the construction of a scooter, all right? So the figure shows the design for a scooter, the curve ABC is a portion of an ellipse. So to actually draw that, the very first thing is I'm going to produce a thin horizontal line first in this manner. All right, then I'm going to actually pick my ruler and I'm going to actually mark out some points on it. Okay, so making this as my starting point, this area. Okay, with my ruler right here, I'm going to take uh, the length of uh, 78, mark of 78, which is this, and mark of 156, 78 plus 78. That's 156, which is this. All right. So also, I'm going to pick mark of 23 from the left to the right. 23, which is this. And also, uh, I'm going to shift my ruler to the middle right here. I'm going to pick a mark of mark of 30 right here. Then mark of uh, 40, which is this right here. So on each of these mark, I'm going to produce a vertical line on each of those points, a vertical line, okay? So from this area like this, faintly, from this area like this, faintly, on this area also, faintly on this area right here faintly then on this area right here faintly and on this also faintly okay after picking my spots the next procedure is this so this area is my f1 all right so this midpoint is my mark d all right, this end here is my what is my F2. So from this area towards the bottom is yeah, from this horizontal line towards the bottom mark of 15. I'm going to measure that okay towards the bottom mark of 15. Then from this same horizontal line towards uh the upper part. Now looking at the ellipse, we are given the focal point, but no major axis, no minor axis. So I'm going to actually assume some dimensions here, okay? I'm going to assume some dimensions here. So from this horizontal line, if we check at the problem on the screen, towards the top, we are having a mark of 38. First of all, mark of 38, which is this. Okay? Mark of 38, which is this. After the mark of 38, we have a mark of 15. Also, which is this. Now, so from this mark of 30 to 15, I'm going to measure mark of 10. Mark of 10, which is this. So that mark of 10 is what I'm going to actually use as my minor axis for the ellipse A, B, C. For the ellipse A, B, C. So that is what I'm going to actually use. And on each of these points that I measure right now, I'm going to produce horizontal line all through. Horizontal line all through. So from here, like this. Okay, from here like this from here like this and at the bottom okay all the way like this so after doing that now so if you were actually conversant with production of ellipse using focal point method using focal point method if we are given the minor axis and the focal points how do we get the major axis now so this is my mark c this junction will be my mark c which is D to C is my minor axis with my focal point. How do I get my major axis? So with uh, F1 to C, F1 to C, length F1 to C, okay, length F1 to C at point D, at point D, gives me what? Gives me my major axis. Gives me my major axis, which is what? which is mark A. So uh, if you are not conversant with production of ellipse via uh, focal point method, kindly check the link 
under the description below you will actually see that right there so now i have my major axis so with this now i can produce my ellipse so i'm going to be producing this ellipse using uh auxiliary circle method here yeah. auxiliary circle method okay so i'm going to produce my major okay since i actually need the quadrant so i'll be producing just a quarter of the circle right there like that then also for my minor also i'll be producing what just a quarter also like this right there so with this i can actually divide this like that and this right here so just take note of the procedures i'm actually using okay so this faintly like this and from here also faintly like this okay now we need to project this mark here horizontally like this then this mark here horizontally like this okay and taking my set square this area here yeah practically like this so i have a point there then from this area also like this i have another point right here so with this now i can what develop my what my ellipse so what i'm going to do is i'm going to join mark c through this point through this point all the way towards to mark a i'm going to do that offline using my french or irregular curve okay so that is the ellipse developed on the screen right there okay that is the ellipse developed on the screen right there so uh, this so mark is my mark. This area to this area is 23. So where this area actually touches the ellipse, this is my mark. What my mark B right here. So on my mark B right there, I'm going to project this line at 60 degrees to the top right there, which is this. So then from there, I can now what I can join this like this. Okay, then I'm going to what take in this right here to see okay that area is actually set like that now from this mark d we have a radius of 15 mm radius of 15 mm so i'm going to pick that with my compass right here so with radius 15 mm i'm going to stand on mark d produce an arc right here faintly then with the same radius 15 mm i'm going to stand right here then what produce this faintly like this first after producing that faintly, I'm going to pick my ruler from maxi tangential to the curve which I do right now. So I draw that tangent. Then I can now what taking this out now, like this, taking it out like this. So I have that area settled. Okay, now let me actually develop the wheel at the bottom here. So the bigger wheel here is radius twenty radius 20 so with my compass okay i pick radius 20 this radius 20 so standing on this spot here i strike an arc on that line right here with radius 20 then with the same radius 20 standing at this intersection right here i would i produce this okay i produce this okay with radius 20 then the inner one is radius 15 so with radius 15 which is this standing at the same midpoint here i what i draw this i draw this so i have my wheel developed right there okay since i have my wheel developed i can actually take in this all the way to mark d right here like this to mark the right there like that so that area is what is settled is settled so the next thing is uh if you check the figure h j k h j k is a parabola with the vertex at j so d this is k this is k so we are going to develop our what our parabola and we told that uh the right of our parabola is what is 20 so from this mark k i measure 20 which is this i measure 20 right there then on the height i measure 80 
80, which is this. I get the midpoint, which is 40, which is this. So then I'm going to actually develop that right now. So year to year, I project it upward faintly, right? So this right here, faintly, then this right here, faintly. Okay, so let me just take away all these lines that I don't need, these ones, so that you won't get confused, okay? That you will not be confused. All right, so now settled. So to develop my parabola, I'm going to use the division of line principle. I'm going to divide this area into this plane into three equal halves using division of line technique. So using division of line technique, I will divide this area into three equal halves. So if you don't know how to do that, kindly check the link under the description below. It will show you how to divide a line into equal parts and proportion. So I'm going to actually do most of this offline. Okay, I'm going to do it offline, dividing this area into three equal parts. Okay, so that is it right there. I've divided this axis into three equal parts. So, zero, one, two, and what, and three. So then I transferred it towards, I transferred it all the way down, faintly. Do you see that? So likewise, I'm also going to divide this vertical plane into what, into six equal halves. I will divide this vertical plane into six equal halves. I'm also going to apply the principle of what, division of line technique also. So I'm also going to do that offline. I'm going to do that offline. So if you don't know how to do that, kindly check the link under the description below to see how to divide a line into equal parts and what and proportion. Thank you. Okay, so after dividing into this equal parts, I transferred it to what to this area also. So this is our mark J. So from mark J now, from this center of mark J to the first mark here, mark one here, to develop my parabola. So I'm going to what, asterisk this area, okay? From mark J to mark two, right there. So this is where it touches what, two, this one. So two and two, meet right here, okay? So then from mark J to the last mark here, which is three. So mark J to three right here, set to Mark J to two. Uh, these two and these two. They meet right here. And mark J to one. And this is one. It meets what right here. So I have my points from this area. Okay. All the way down here. So this is my mark what H as shown in it. So I'm going to join the points from mark H through J, then down to what down to K right here. That gives us our, what, our parabola. I'm also going to join that offline using my French or irregular curve. So with that settled, now, uh, the next thing is this. I'm going to actually get the wheel at the front here. I'm going to get the wheel at the front here. So the first one is radius 20. Radius 20, okay. Radius 20. So I'm going to pick my radius 20, which is this right here so from this mark radius 20 from this mark here not f2 from this mark with radius 20 i what i get this point okay getting that point uh, okay so the next thing i'm going to do is this before i actually draw out the wheel itself on my vertical axis here from the bottom here from the bottom here I'm going to pick a mark of 30 from the bottom here, from this vertical axis. So 0, 10, 20, 30. So this is mark of 30 mm. So that mark of 30 mm, I'll be projecting it out horizontally, like this. Okay. Having it like that. So now I'm going to pick the 30 is from this line, from this area here to this area is 30. So remember, this is the radius 20 I pick earlier on. This is the midpoint here for radius 20. So with my radius 20 standing right here, I would, I draw this. Okay. I draw that way right there. So with radius 20 drawing that way. So then the inside, the inside is, 
Uh, that is going to be radius 15 on the inside. Radius 15 on the inside. But before that, radius 15 on the inside, let me draw. Before that, radius 15 on the inside, let me draw radius 25. So with radius 25 standing at this inside, I would I draw this. With radius 25, I draw this. So drawing that with radius 25, I'm going to actually draw this line like this, joining both ends, which is this. Okay, having that right there, then I can now pick my radius 15 now. Picking my radius 15, standing at this emit point, then I would I draw this. Like that with my racing, I actually draw that. So having that right there, picking my ruler, I would I join this area horizontally like this, all the way down there. Okay, with that being settled, with that being settled, so from this area right here, I project a line at 60 degrees. At 60 degrees from this mark right here. Okay, I would I draw it upwards faintly. Okay. After doing that, faintly upwards. So, uh, from this area, my mark H, from this area, which is my mark H, I'm going to measure distance of 10 mm downward. Okay, from mark H, 10 mm downward. This is the 10 mm right here. So, this 10 mm, I will project it horizontally like this. Okay, projecting it horizontally like that. So, I'm going to pick my compass. Picking my compass, standing at mark J. And at mark J, extending to mark H, extending to mark H, I would, I draw this curve, drawing that curve, then I'm going to join this, you know, this is the 10 mm line, I drew from here to the 10 mm, so from this 10 mm to the top right there, like this, so joining that, then bringing it in here a little like this. Then doing that, then I'm going to what taking this all the way like this, taking that all the way like that, and that brings us to the end of the production of this scooter using the principle of a conic section, which is parabola and ellipse. Then also. The basic principles of what of geometric construction. All right. So for the division of line, you will see the link under the description below, and for the ellipse, you will see the link to produce several types of ellipse under the description below. So for this ellipse, you can make use of approximate method or auxiliary circle method. That is the best method to actually use for uh, the ellipse in this case. All right. So that is the production of the scooter as displayed on the screen. My name remains Oluwa Tumbi Blessing or Laleko, the founder of My Ketik. Kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.